Hi, this is Dark Fox One Two Seven, and welcome to another Corinthia Tower Reborn live stream. Uh, it's been about a week since I did my last live stream, and uh, it's been maybe a little longer than that for ones that have been uploaded to YouTube because what I was working on last was the vault, and I decided to rip it down afterwards and just build it again because I wasn't happy with it. I think I've rebuilt it two or three times really, and um, I think I'm settling with something now. I've gone with the traditional kind of rounded bottom of the tower idea and then just put sort of uh, icy rocks and stuff in instead which is far better uh, I'm just going to move my mic down somewhere that should be a bit better so yeah I'm going to work a bit on the vault and such as well as other <coughs> excuse me, voice always goes every stream as well as other things so yeah and I've already started putting certain things in here that I want the, the player to come down and find and hunt down okay so the new vault it's gonna work off the usual lift system so it's added to the list now the lift is I had a little problem earlier on where the lift was sending you kind of to the wrong place and I was dropping through the floor but I figured out why that was. So the whole lift system I've pretty much tested now and it all works. And the portal system is hopefully correct as well so that should all work fine. Although I've still got to adjust the way that things are enabled and disabled because I don't like how things are flickering on and off. It's, it's uh, kind of annoying me but I think I know how to had to sort that, it's just going to take some time. And I'm going to leave it for now because I've messed with portals so much I need a break from them. Now, like I said, I've redesigned the vault. Easiest thing to do just to start off, I think, is probably hop on in game and we'll, we'll take a little look at what I've built so far, see if we can build a couple of ideas. So let's just get that loaded up. Should load eventually. Actually, I think the last stream I did was um, it was the chicken, the first stream for the chicken, which was a bit a bit different, a bit of fun. There. So yeah, I've also got the, the guy in here that you have to kill, which is nice. And we're going to want to have the, the god mode on. And I'm missing my controller again. Here we go. Let's take a look. So he's standing here, there's no nav mesh, you'll probably find he's going to act very, very strange. He, he even starts walking backwards into one of the vaults sometimes, it's a bit funky. But yeah, he's there. So, I was kind of doing a bit of actual research on a vault. What's, what's the damn definition of a vault? There's a few different definitions, a few ideas. And it is basically just where you can store valuable items. And I thought, well, the vault that most people would be aware of in, in the modern day is like a bank vault. So you store your gold and stuff in there, your money in there. And... Uh, they are generally got a round opening to them so I thought I'd replicate that and it works much better now you'll see in the kit that I actually had doors to it but I've got to animate those because they're not actually doors they're just solid static items but I've got to get them to animate which is going to be interesting now I actually want them to turn about 45 degrees and then slide open something like that so that should be interesting should be easy enough to do it's either slide open or kind of fade out not sure which way to do yet but yeah that, that's basically going to be the idea of that put little steps here some changes got to be made to the actual structure because I don't want the gold obviously and I was thinking of doing something about these these holes up here doing something with it rather than just filling them in or leaving them I was going to hide things in there yeah, definitely better than the previous vault. 
So I've just taken my time with it, built the rocks up really carefully. I want some of the structure ships yeah structure. I want some of it showing and the rest of it to be ice and such. And it's really nice. I've just had to create my own versions of the rocks which have a, a certain texture over the top of them. So yeah, the lifts do all seem to work perfectly now. They're all linked together. I think I've renamed them as well so they make a bit more sense. Not the portal, of course. Often uh, that'll power up and that'll work. So that's all set up. Like I said, he's just walking backwards. He's a bit deranged. But we'll sort him out. And I'm thinking I am going to have literally loads of gold, loads of gold bars and such in here. And it's basically going to be gold storage and such. And then the other one's going to be general items. Or I was thinking of having containers, named containers, all along the walls where you can put anything in if people want to use it that way. But the vault's also for hiding things. So if you really open your eyes, you'll be able to find certain things that you're actually going to need around the place. Like the uh, the pipe valve, that's going to be to do with the forge, getting the forge set up. There's going to be other little chests about with stuff in, but I've got to set them up properly. And I've got a couple of ideas for them. And it's just going to be a bit of, a bit of general storage in the central area, just a, a load of stuff. Bits to discover, you've got the paintings here, which I haven't checked yet. Pick up paintings. These paintings have now been displayed throughout the tower. They need to disable themselves afterwards. So that needs doing. Other than that, I haven't really changed anything from what people have seen already. I've been taking a taking a short break. So, yeah. Now we need to go up and see if those paintings have shown up. It's in the process of a lot of the building stuff being done. I've planned out the way that things are going to be done now. Those also need initially disabling. And I've got some great news. Uh, if you've seen the last couple of streams, I had an issue where I was loading the Apex first, after I'd loaded the mod, and it was crashing. It was crashing the creation kit, and I, I ended up having a little workaround where I had to open up another cell, take a look around and then load the apex for some reason and I figured out that it was actually the meshes or specifically a single mesh for like my uh, my custom wardrobe pieces and it was one of the female pieces of clothing it just needed something renaming on the NIF and that was it, it's fixed I can even refresh the cell and it doesn't crash anymore so that has been sorted out which is good news so currently there are only little minor things that the creation kit moans about for each individual cell but other than that there are no bugs, no errors, no nothing. Nothing that's like detected by test edit or anything like that. Nothing major game breaking bug wise. Uh, the only bugs are things that aren't quite set up right in the mod yet because they're not finished. But yeah, it, it's currently absolutely smooth, perfect, running fine, not a problem. Uh, performance wise seems to be not a problem. Although this isn't filled up yet, but yeah. Seems to be uh, going quite nice. Like I say, this stuff's working now. Forge, I've really got to decide what I'm going to do with it. Exactly. So, we're going to go in the kit and we're going to start work on things. So this script needs just adjusting. Made a bit of a universal script for it. Uh, items to enable. I actually need items to disable now as well. So, I'll go with a single one maybe. Uh, enable to item to enable. Let's go with item to disable then. So copy that. And it's probably going to want to do that first. Be 
be that simple and then select it. So I'll disable one and have the other one linked to the other one. That should sort that, that should disappear. Then we have to check in the apex to make sure that those paintings are initially disabled. That one is, so that means it worked. And that one is, so that means that worked. That's cool. This I am going to hide for the moment. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with them. Just yet, we're done keeping them. Wardrobe's already been set up. Beds have already been set up. Desk, I'm not sure about the desk. So we need to do some crafting items. Desk is all set up like that, disabled. And I have done myself a bit of a plan. Basically, it's going to be the top part is stating what the room is, and then you're stating what the individual items in the room are. So the individual items are if the player decides to craft them themselves. And the main bit, is if the player decides to get the forge master to do it for them. So I'm looking at the mage quarters at the moment. I've got display cases which I've already done but it needs adjusting. Um, large display cases I'm probably going to call that. Smaller ones take two hours. So yeah, I've actually moved some display case stuff as well. Because uh, these daggers and such are in the big displays. And now this big display's just got like two other daggers in there. And it's cut down so you can display daggers in these. And next to the dagger it's got something relevant to what the dagger's part of. So uh, Maroon's Razor's got like some Mythic Dawn gloves. Got some dragon bones for that one there, I forget what it's called. You've got a, a nice little sort of image thing that I created off uh, some stock art off the internet. And that goes with that, because it's like Dwemery stuff, I think. And you, you've just got bits that are relevant to the item, basically. So you've got Nettlebane with some spring and sap. So I need a constructible item for those. And I'm going to go off the display case we've already got. Play can finish it faster than the Forge Master. Oh, I, I wouldn't take too much notice with the, um, the times yet. I've, I'm just putting something rough and then once it's all finished I'll, I'll try and add it all together. So um, it'll actually, the maths will work out to take the same amount of time. But the reason that you get the Forge Master to do it is if you don't want to be stood there crafting it all yourself. If you just want to say to the Forge Master, you do it and I'll go off and do other things and I'll come back later. It's both lazy and the fact that people don't always want to, their character's just not the crafting type. So, two options. But yeah, don't take too much notice of the times at the minute. It's just a rough idea. Um, so yeah, these need to be small display cases, mage quarter display cases. To create new version. I think I copied this. No. Um, 
Drag that there a minute. Should be that there. Create that. And I'll just be back in a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Thought I had a crash there. God. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have a crash. Uh, the only thing that might go wrong is for some reason I had some... Um, if the stream just dramatically cuts off, then I'll be back very shortly. I've had a, a random machine crash yesterday. And it's either just a one-off, which usually is, fingers crossed, or there's something up. But it shouldn't be, it should be fine. Um, yeah, small display cases, we obviously want to change this to small now. Select itself, global is for the time. And item to enable, so I've got to link these to their own X marker now, because they've each been linked to the large display cases. So I want to copy the name. Just check out, that's lined up, that's fine. Then we can just enable the X marker. And call that small. Initially disabled, okay. Item to enable, mark a small time is now two hours for them. That should cover that. Value is actually going to be about 600 instead. And then I'm going to want a craftable item for it. Small and small. Get disabled. Whoops. It's going to be that. And create new four. All right. And then I've actually got to link those up, haven't I? So I'm going to just hide this because that's going to get in the way. Don't think I've set them up yet for the actual items inside. Do that. Just take a look. What have I done with this? Yeah, these are like static. So I've got to decide how I actually want to do this. I think it'll be um, a simple activation of it, and if you've got the item, it adds it in. Or if it's in there, it gives it your back. So that needs to actually transfer into a container. So each of these is going to need its own container. So let's go with... Um, I suppose you could take, you just use the same container. Let's just use a satchel because it's nice and simple. make a unique one uh, let's try that 
don't want respawning. And we'll have one for each. Duplicate that. And we'll need a script. So a script should be fairly simple. This is now going to have to be an activator there. So we'll go create a new one. Using these. Activator, what do we actually call this? Uh, that is, I suppose display case small. I'm not in a typing mood today. Um, I'll leave that as activate display case. And then I'm going to have to replace each of these. Roll an F, click off that. There we go. And check. That shouldn't be a problem. And that's cool. So this is going to have to be a pretty universal script. Gonna add that one just to snag some stuff off. CT script. I just want to have a look at what the other display scripts are. Display case like unique display, display case and unique display, what are those for? Display small. And we'll go with activate. Uh, if it's enabled, disable it. Else, enable it. But it's not that easy, we need to actually have the item. So, uh, in each one of these cases, it is a weapon. So. Weapon property uh, display weapon auto that doesn't say display, does it? Yep. And instead of item, I'm gonna call it ref. Yep, that's probably better. So we're also then going to want to go
remove item. Display weapon. And where it's going, so it's going to my container. So it's going to be display container. Uh, so if it's enabled, then you're going to disable it. So that actually needs to go there. And this needs to be add item. Oh, no, 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 no. Remove item from. Uh, so it's going into the player's inventory. And then it's coming out of the display container. Something's probably gone wrong there. Probably typed something wrong. Display item is undefined on 12. Okay then, that's it. Display item is actually display ref. And that should be it. So just to explain it, if the weapon's in the container already, then it's going to disable the actual visible thing in the container. Then it's going to grab it back out of the container, give it you, and yeah, it'll make sure it's disabled. It's not in there. Uh, otherwise, if it's actually not in there, then what it'll do is take the item off you, put it into a container, and then make the reference appear in the container. Easy peasy. So, um, container ref and weapon are all going to be different. So, the base activator we don't change, but the individual references we do. Now, click on here. The container are the things that I'll put at the back. and then display ref is inside the container so this is going to be a bit tricky to actually point to but these are also going to need to be activated or reference name changed there we go display weapon is Maroon's razor so I need to know all of the names of them. I think I've already linked there with the item that goes in there with them anyway. DA07 Marin's Razor. And let me just check. Yeah, I already did that. That's fine. And then I've just got to do each of them. Is that big white thing occlusion? Yeah, occlusion playing yeah. Will the item in the case always be there? At the moment it's set up not to be. So it will just appear when it's in it's in there. Um right so display case small set the rest of these up container is that one display ref is that one and what is it that we're after? I cannot even pronounce it. Um, would you believe it's going to be some uh, funky name? So I'm going to have to look this one up. Mm, 
unique weapons. So here somewhere, if it isn't in the list, I'm gonna have to do a bit of a deeper search. Yeah, it's funny they have like a list of unique weapons and the one that you want is never in there. That's it I think. Dragon Priest Dag no. What does that even say? That'll be it. There we go. So it's MG Ritual Dagger. This one. Supply container. Supply reference. And that will be Keening. There we go. And what is that one? Blade of Woe. Reward version, I think we need. Container. Reference. Supply weapon is Nettlebane. Is that TO3? Yep, yeah, there we go. Nettlebane. Then we've got this one. Oh yeah, I finally changed the settings as well for my zooming in, so I can actually get around the damn kit properly, which is good. Ceremonial blade, I know this is an awkward one, it's in here somewhere. Oh, I totally forget what this is actually called. Uh, blade of Sacrifice, that's it. DAO2 dagger. And that should be those displays set up. Shouldn't be a problem with those, so that's them. Got craftable items, got construction things for them. And that should be that. Those are already done. That should be set up with the desk. Desk hasn't got an item, or has it? It might do. Yeah, desk's got a construction item already, although I've got to actually change the, the visual representation of it because it's changed. And those are what they are, don't think they need putting in in any way. They can just be there and available. These are going to be initially deactivated and I'm going to activate them. And the script will need changing to see if uh, these things are actually enabled first before they can be used. Otherwise it would be like they're turned off sort of thing because I think I'm going to use Welkid stones to turn those on drapes and stuff are going to be do to do with merchants which I haven't decided just yet on how to purchase those are already set up banners are another thing I've got to decide on 
and I think that should now be linked to the wardrobe What's that rugs should be linked to something like uh, a general rugs marker now those are already all linked and those are to check all of that shouldn't need weapon racks is another thing um, yes leave that for the minute this should refresh now we shouldn't uh, shouldn't get a crash this is where it would crash before There we go, success. So, This is all that. I think I've got the seeds set up, but I've actually got to test and see if they work. That means I've got to buy them off Arbella, meaning that I've got to hire Arbella, meaning I've actually set the ledger up, haven't I? I think I did. I set the whole ledger thing up. That works, but it needs tweaking. <coughs> Excuse me. Needs improving. Like the uh, menu for it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I need to just check on something that isn't downloading. I don't want that downloading. So yeah, them are set. That's fine. Hello. Will they also support unique uniques? Oh, that's a good point. Of course, I've changed it now. Um... What does Unique Uniques cover for the daggers? I might have to redo the patch now that I've moved them. Although... Um, hmm. Technically, it should be fine. That's something we can try out, actually. We'll go in-game and we'll try that now, because that's interesting. And we'll see if these seeds work. We'll get staff hide and such. And you'll see if these seeds actually work. They should do. That is a that's a very good point. Do do do. Right. I'm wondering if Unique Uniques is actually active. The patch, anyway. I know the, the mod itself should be, but the patch is another thing. So, actually, first things first, we need to craft them, don't we? So we'll have to head down to the forge. So we should have large and small displays. There we go, there's the small ones. That's the large ones. Craft them both. They work perfectly. CT Apex, I think I just changed the actual static item so it should actually work still with the patch, hopefully I don't have to do it again because when I made the patch I was like, well I'm not changing this and it turns out I have changed it so we shall see, the only thing that I actually moved with the patches was the ones that are in the display so. Ok, 
going. Let's have a look, make sure it still, still works. Blade of Woe and stuff it should no longer accept because I've removed them. So that's correct. These should all work fine. Dagger's left also goes in. That one is it? Yeah. Okay. Slide up to be okay. Oh, another thing, isn't it? There you go. So they all seem to have worked. So you just activate it, you don't get a menu or nothing that shows. I don't know what they're meant to be like, if they're changed at all. So yeah. Seems to have worked, that's not a problem, that's good. Satchels are poking through. And they should be removed. I haven't accounted for if the player doesn't have the item, have I? So I'm not sure if this is working. It's working if I've got them back. I think I have. So I've pretty much nailed that, that's fine. So that needs tweaking. And um, we're gonna have to make this. There's something else that we will need to test out as well. Okay, make everything. Three weeks later. Right. Let's stop being lazy. Let's actually go there. And we'll hire the lady and see if the whole 72 hours planter stuff thing works. Hopefully it does. Still got that flicker there, I think there's a lighting thing going on. Those are enabling. There shouldn't be. Never mind. Uh, right. Okay. Activate some of these. Right. Sit at the ledger. Get the alchemist who should sell it. There she is. Excuse me. Need something? Oh crap. It's too early, isn't it? So she's not selling things. Okay. She's actually going to bed, which is something we can test. Uh, we need to go to the mage quarters. That's not working. What was that sound? That sounded weird. Uh, my volume's pretty low down, so 
if people can let me know if that sounds cool or really weird. Oven's looking fine now. All this is built up, that's good. Yay! Can't beat a good crash. For fuck's sake. Uh, Jesus. Try again. I'll see when the auto save was. Otherwise, I'll have to go ape shit. Craft everything. That's just my game being an unstable sack of crap. Uh, the sound's not different than before. That sound was when you're actually fading in and out. The sound you're probably remembering is when we're activating the portal. That sound's the same. Oh, let's try uh, let's try this again. Hmm. Uh, when, when was that? At the forge, apparently, so we'll just do that. Do, do, do. Come on. Sam was okay then. That's good. Why is this just being such an ass, really? Come on. And we weighed down. Because that mode's on. Oh, really? God mode enabled, not from where I'm sitting. There we go. Are looking at each other, like what the is this guy doing? They shouldn't be looking at each other, they should be very static. Never mind. No more crashing on the desk, which is good. Member recruited. What are you doing? Why are they alive? Need something? Too early again. Thought as much. Let's get an auto save on that. Let's go to the dorms. First one in the maze quarters again. And then you can activate the dorms from there. I wonder if it was looking at a specific set of items that caused the crash. Yes, I thought it might be. I think there's an issue with some meshes. So, that's interesting. We'll just not look at the cupboard. <laughs> I think I know what it is. I'm using some resources there, and that's what you've always got to be careful with resources. Sometimes meshes have got something slightly dodgy with them, and then it causes the game to crash when you're staring at them. No matter. That's what I had that little auto save there for. Save us some time because I thought that was going to happen. At least you know that's not a random crash. That's a good thing. There's a reason for that crash so we can fix it. So, whatever you do, don't look at the bloody thing. And we just need to talk to her. And them guys are looking at me again. Bright lights. In fact, I think we'll just wait. Wait around, I'm not even going to go in the dorms if we've got a problem there. I 
Might look longer. Give an opportunity to come back. I know the packages work. I don't really need to test them. And I think she's just on her way in from somewhere. Ugh, they're always late to work. Always late to work. Look at this. What time do you call this? Good morning. Right, let's have a look. So you're an alchemist then. What do you have for sale? Don't think you've got what you meant to have. Which is the bloody satchel. Which is interesting. Unless I change the name all the time. Damn you. That's a pain in the arse. That's weird. Okay. Good day. Let's just go with seeds. Why have we got two sets of garden seeds? I know exactly why we've got two sets of garden seeds, because I've put them in another mod as well. So we're hoping we're getting the right ones here. Uh, you must be at the shack. Yeah, I've gone and added the wrong garden seeds. I've added the garden seeds from Riverside Shack. Because obviously this is something I've used before. That'll be our garden seeds and they're the ones that we need. Hopefully. Ah, they're not actually showing at all. Okay. Let's go back in the kit. There must not be a playable item for some reason. Uh, they're playable, but they're not visible. Hmm. On added is it? No, only quiff apparently. So for some reason I can't add them to me. Well, it still makes no sense as to why she's not got them. She should be selling them. Or she's eating them or something. Um, that's funky. I'll go back in and I'll just try and get them again. I might have messed up. Let's try again. She should be selling them, but she's not for some reason. I'm not sure why. Four one three five A. Oh, four, seven, one. Garden seeds added. There we go. You must be in the apex to plant them. Uh, no, that's funny because I am in the apex. So, the other thing, what I'll actually do is I'll just nip out and check before I quit it. Is 
I'm fairly certain I have set the location type. Location apex, yep. That's weird. Apex, 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 um. Hmm. Let's find the seeds and have a look. Is in location CT location Apex. CT location Apex. Is in location. Now that's weird. That should have worked. Because if you check this, we are in the Apex. Hmm. Player ref. Let's try this a different way. Let's try it that way. Sometimes it doesn't read it right. That's the only thing I can think of as to why that's not working properly. to get some seeds to grow us some plants oh, hold on we'll load it up script should be fine on an existing save usually it just adjusts we're not changing any properties which it's remembering really so this should work That's if it loads. Four, one, three, five, eight, oh, four, seven. Seeds added. Hmm. That's annoying. Okay then. What do you need? It's really fucking annoying. Okay. Let's try leaving and coming back. If not, I'll leave it for now. Must be in the apex. Cannot equip this item. I don't care about that. Hmm. It's interesting. Oh, then. Never mind. I'll sort that another time. And we'll fix what we've got to fix for now. Uh, the one thing being this, and the way this script did some of what it does. Let's 
so we've got to adjust this and we need get item count scripting reference come on this website has gotten really slow So, if it's enabled, then you need to remove it. Otherwise, if if display ref dot is disabled and game dot get player item count. Uh, display weapon equal to one more than or equal to one do that otherwise uh, not debug dot notification this needs to be specific for each one so we're going to need a, a message otherwise you're not going to know what goes in there so it's going to have to be display message dot show um yeah message message property keep giving that display message And then you edit each of these, so each of them is going to need a message for what the item is. Uh, in this case, it's Maroon's Razor. Display so. I think that's how it's spelled. Maroons. And I know we've got Nettlebane. I'm going to cheat because I cannot spell this. And then we've got Keening. Blade of Sacrifice, Blade of Woe. that one that one is that one and we've 
we've done that one. Okay, so we can set these up now. <clears throat> so what was his first one? Marion's razor. This one's the uh, the funny spell one. That one's keening. And this one is Blade of Woe. And that one is and is that one? Nettle Dane. And then the Blade of Sacrifice. Blade of Sacrifice. There we go. That's them sorted. Easy enough. Okay. And these won't plant for some reason, which is quite annoying. I've got those set up. That all goes set up with the plants. That stuff needs set in. Planters need a constructible item. So planter we do not seem to have. Planters here. What type are these? These are the ones that we're going to want. So I'm probably going to want to edit one of them. Not really sod it. <clears throat> I'll use my own one. That's what I need. Need to copy that. Ah, I've actually uh, done that already. Okay. Texture, any texture, any texture, any. All of any textures with texture soil. In that case, I can use one of these. Pottery. Oh, it would be different, wouldn't it? Of course. That's the bloody soil this time. They put it the, uh, the other way around. No doubt the UV maps are different for no apparent reason. No, we got away with that. So that's that. Then I need to go with the flow. Whatever I've done for these. Category, I would say, not really sure. It's not really furniture, is it? Or is it? No, I suppose I'll just put furniture for now. Any of that stating alchemy? I'll put AL for Alchemy Lab and it's planters, large planters, just planters, which is written out as what it is and how long it takes. So the planters are going to take how long to make? Uh, let's take a look. Two hours, I thought it might be. So two hours, and then the value can be about 300, and that's fine. So it's Alchemy Lab. Create new form, go back to it. 
and add my craft script. Autofill and set these up. That should be planters. Yep. Item to enable is that thing. Time, two hours. Craft item is itself. There we go. Just check. And there's the other thing, so it's not pliable. That would have balls it all up. Pretty sure it needs to be pliable. It's not going to show. And that should be that. Just need a constructible item for it. So. Planters, realistic, planters, carving chair, get disabled, and select that. There we go, so we've added planters in. Nice and easy. Don't need that. Not many in today, which is weird. Seems to be pretty hit and miss sometimes, but I haven't streamed in a while, so no matter. These I'm gonna have to whip something up for, aren't I? I'm gonna have to design that in NIF scope. So there was something else I was on about the vault doors. I haven't actually worked on the vault at all, which I thought I was going to. Still can. Mm -hmm. So Yep. That's coming along, so that's all sorted. Planters will be initially disabled. These other things are just going to be bits and bobs I'll sort later on. Rugs and such, like I said, I can't sort yet. Are these linked to any standard sort of rugs? Yep. So, yeah, these can be, uh, those can be linked to that. Although this, I was thinking of just linking to the wardrobe anyway. It's kind of part of the wardrobe. That makes sense. And what's that? So gotta do something with that, but I haven't thought of anything yet. Okay, so that's Apex done. And then we've got an issue with crashing on one of these things here, which I'm gonna check out. Now it's looking at this collection here for some reason. Obviously not that because that's the game's Default stuff. That's doing float in the air. That shouldn't be an issue. That seems to be a professional gun mesh anyway. That's not an issue. Could be these. These are from the Oysters dishes. Let's take a look at them. And um, what are they? We're after a silver plate set. Sometimes it hates the name being the same. I've noticed for some unknown reason. Some of this stuff's got real problems for some reason. And I'm sure there were some scrolls before which were done and were very dodgy. So I'll have to figure out what's up there. Shrine tables set up. Wardrobes are something that need to be fixed as well. Beds are something which I'm not sure if I've done anything for. Dorms bed RC. So we've got an item for that as well, I'm guessing. That's the item for that. That's the item for dorm beds. Those are set up. Those have to come along with them. So what are those? Those are linked to the dorm beds. Those are linked to the character stuff. Characters can only be brought in when their stuff's there. Okay. That's fine. General stuff there. 
fireplaces are going to need to be lit up afterwards. Foods placed on the table, depending on if the dining section is visible, which there shouldn't be. Those all in the way. Cooking thing will need fixing, so that's almost all set up, ready to go. Forge an awkward one. That we set up eventually. I've got things for that. Uh, forge is going to be weapon racks, I think. Just cannot type today for shit. And the forge is something that the forge master can work on a little bit. So tied up the forge for let's just say. 2000, which would take about five hours. Rough again, I'll change that later on. Weapon racks are only going to take them an hour to do it. Same for the player. Weapon racks all along there. Those racks are already available. Something's got to go in there. All this is already there and set up. Some general storage stuff going around there. And those containers can already be there. That, I've got to do something with that corner. Smelter's something that's got to be created, I suppose. This is already there. And it just needs powering up. And you've got all these individual bits. And bobs, and then this stuff that can appear with it. So, yeah. No, and that needs power. Okay, then. And then you've obviously got decor that can just show up. Library is another awkward one. Banners and so. Uh, the tables actually are uh, what we need in the library. So I can probably find something here we can use for that. Set up a crafting menu for it. Do something here. Table bench. What the bloody hell? Don't tell me they haven't got one. That is not really what I'm after. But it might be enough to just hint at what you're grabbing. Yeah, I'm going to use that. That'll probably work. And it's already set up, so... Edit that. And I just want to nullify the cloth. That's all I want to do. And I'm going to need to CT, misc, craft, and this is going to be the lib. Okay. Tables and chairs. I think I noted that one down as well. Three hours. Yeah, I'll do for now. Nice, well, change it. Value is probably going to be about 750. Playable, of course. And furniture. Then confirm that. Library's table and chairs. Craft. Script craft, autofill, point toward itself, 
item to enable, that's a good point. Don't think I've linked them all to anything yet. So I'll grab myself an X marker. take longer than that but I can change it after. So that's set up fine and then that construction library library table and chairs get disabled that's done there we go so we get in there eventually and I'm just going to check it that's fine Right, oh, amen. Uh, what else have we got? These all need setting up, so I'm thinking of having these broken down for a while. Yeah. So, something along the lines of fixing these up. So there's certain stuff I want actually interactive in the rooms. Here's the basic rugs. Probably linked to that. Oh, this would be fun linking this lot up. That's the library, I'll do that after. Lobby. This is going to get interesting. The lobby stuff. I've got some new ideas for it. And for now, we'll leave it. Utility and vault. So the vault, the vault, the vault, the vault. I could script one of these, get those sorted, finish designing a little bit of it off, get something in the centre to shine down. And we could sort a couple of other things. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take a short break for about 10-15 minutes. And then I'll be back. And we're going to get to work on some of the vaults. And we are going to do some other things as well. Which will be cool. Yep, plenty to be done. And we can te test out the uh, all the crafting stuff that we've just made. So I'll, uh, I'll see you shortly. Surely, surely. Now I'll see you shortly.